Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Wednesday afternoon. It's actually the evening now. I cannot believe we have such beautiful sunlight at 5.30. How incredibly amazing. I am just living for the signs of spring. Every single day when it's sunny and when it feels like spring is coming, oh my gosh, it just feels amazing. But I'm looking very dishevelled right now because today has been very busy. My mum was here this morning. We were shooting some content for an upcoming project that I keep talking about and just some other bits and bobs. And then I have been sat on my laptop editing all afternoon. So unfortunately, I haven't been out in the sunshine to enjoy it. Um, me and my mum did actually go for a quick walk. We were going to sit down and have a coffee and we said, no, let's take our coffee with us and go out for a walk. So that is exactly what we did. But it is, I mean, it's a little bit chilly. The window cleaner has just left and I've just wrapped up a day of work and I'm getting ready this evening for a lovely couple of days in London, which I am really excited about and it's such a nice end to the week. Um, but I've come outside because I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my buds in the garden and show you something quite terrible, which I'm really upset about. Isn't it just such a gorgeous evening? I love it when the sunlight goes over the field like that. Um, but we've got lots of little crocuses coming up down here, which is very lovely. Um, the iris is doing amazing, the ones that we kind of repositioned and repurposed around here. We've got loads of bulbs coming up, which is very, very exciting. Lots of new growths. Oh, very, very exciting. Um, but earlier on, you might notice I've had to move the bird feeder because look at the absolute mess that the crows have made of my poor alliums. I honestly cannot believe what a mess they have made. It is so bad. This is what is remaining of this side. This is the fully fledged healthy ones. Sorry, I'm a bit shivery because I'm freezing. Um, but yeah, look at this. They've literally pecked all of the leaves off and I'm assuming, oh, it's so cold. Um, I'm assuming that they've been trying to get to the seeds underneath, but they have literally ripped them out. And honestly, me and these crows are not friends. I have been so annoyed. I look out the window. I mean, look, it's literally just coming out. What a disaster. I have been looking out the window and every time I look out the window, there are about eight different crows all around this area, like pecking and hanging off the bird feeder. And unfortunately, because we have so many sheep surrounding us, I think that is why we have so many crows, but like, look at this. I'm barely even pulling very hard. It's all just, oh, it's just ruined. Like, look at that. That is so terrible. A few months ago, that was exactly the same as these. Fully formed and like looking lovely, so healthy. And they're just pecked so badly. And I'm really sad about it. Oh, so annoying. And it's so annoying, especially because we don't really know much about gardening and to see like all of our buds coming up, it's so exciting. And then these pesky th crows have done this and it looks terrible. So unfortunately I've had to move the bird feeder to over here for the time being. And I have noticed that the blue tits, the goldfinches, they're all still coming over here. I do need to fill it up actually because they've eaten it all already and it's probably the crows which is so annoying. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to find a new place for this to go and try and stop the crows from eating over there. Look at the light this evening. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. So, so stunning. I wish today was a Saturday because this weather is just heavenly. Oh my gosh. I cut a couple of branches of this. I don't even know what this is because it's not really blossom. Um, but I cut a couple of branches off and I've had it in the kitchen and it smells so incredible. Oh look, there's a little bumble. That's a tiny one. Oh. I 
I spent quite a lot of time the other weekend trying to clean off our gate and fence. I actually got to here, so I still need to finish off the rest. But um, yeah, there were so many big bumblebees on this tree, so they obviously really love the pollen. Can you hear me shivering? <laughs> I am literally freezing. Um, but my final update to show you out here before I freeze is the barn doors. You might notice that we now have another set of doors. Jack and his brother worked tirelessly on this last weekend and they did such an incredible job. Honestly, I'm so impressed. They've done hinges. So one side of this is on hinges, the other one is fixed. And then Jack painted it and it's looking so good. So the next job is to give the barn a good clean down because it's a little bit green and then um, paint the rest of it. Give it another layer of creosote and it should look lovely. And then my next garden task is to, if I come around here, little lavender border around the side of the barn and around the front so um, over the weekend I gave this a good weed and tidied it all up um, I still need to trim my edges because it's looking a little bit overgrown but the lavender is looking so amazing so I'm really pleased and in other news if I take you down the bottom oh my gosh the grass is so squelchy can you hear it so so squelchy um, in other news, our daffodils that we planted, I think in December, have started to form. So we have lots of little buds coming up. Very exciting. We planted about 100 bulbs. So I'm really hoping that um, more come up because right now there's only a few. But I can still see lots of little shoots poking up here and there. Um, there's lots here, some more there, but yeah, how exciting. I'm so, so pleased because I wasn't sure if these daffodils would take here or not. So um, yeah, me and Jack are over the moon. <laughs> but anyway, time to get inside because it's freezing. And oh, what a beautiful evening. I am definitely one of those people that once I get cold, I cannot warm up. I am such a shivery, cold person that my whole body is shaking right now and I've been outside for about two minutes. <laughs> it's definitely not spring. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I picked up my camera is because I wanted to update you on The Office. If you follow me on Instagram, particularly on my home account, Lauren Grace Home, you may be aware that I posted um, the final mood board design for the office and I've taken quite a lot of time in deciding what I actually want to do for the office and I, I don't know, I've been really umming and ahhing about this room and I think I mentioned in a vlog recently that every time I come in here it just frustrates me that I didn't love it, it felt really uninspiring I didn't love it as a space. The layout felt a bit funny and it just didn't have much to it. So I took a bit of time, I did a lot of research and got a lot of inspiration images from Pinterest. And I have done a little bit of moving around in here and honestly, I couldn't be happier. I have been sat in this room every single day this week and usually when I have a desk day, I'm kind of like, oh, I've got a whole day on my desk. And this week has been very, desk laptop heavy and I've loved it. I've absolutely loved sitting in this room. So I wanted to show you guys the mood board in case you don't follow me on Instagram, talk you through it and show you the current situation of the room because I am very, very pleased with it. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put the mood board on screen so we can chat through it together. Um, I use Canva to create all of my mood boards. It is such a great platform. I do pay for it yearly, um, but I'm pretty sure there's free options as well. You can get it as an app on your phone. You can use it on your desktop. I just think it's excellent. I use it for work things. It's brilliant. Now, my main inspiration definitely came from two people. One being Nancy Myers and two being Erin Lauder. I have recently discovered a few new people to follow on Instagram, to follow on Pinterest. I can hear a horse going by. <laughs> I 
don't know if you can see that on the camera. <laughs> um, yes, and I am absolutely in love with both of them. I have a list of films that I now want to watch, Nancy Meyer films, and oh my gosh, Erin Lauder is so incredible. Her style, and I feel like everything she touches, I just am obsessed with. I've been loving her Instagram. And anyway, that was kind of my inspiration behind my office design. I wanted it to feel like a very calm and inspiring room. It is a functional space, but I didn't really want to compromise on the comfort and the style of the room. I still wanted it to be able to be functional. Obviously my job is creative. I do a lot of photo shoots. I do a lot of filming. I do a lot of admin <laughs> and a lot of editing. So I need a big desk. I need kind of like comfortable seating and Jack's sister often comes and helps me with work stuff. So it's really handy to have a space where there's multiple seating areas, especially in the future if I potentially wanted to expand and get somebody to come and work with me. I just really wanted a space that was functional and multi-use. You guys also know that my office acts as our, kind of like our third bedroom, but technically our second because the third, the second guest room is my dressing room. But anyways, this needs to be suitable for a guest bedroom as well. Um, we have the sofa bed, I can pull it out. In this layout, it's still absolutely perfect. Talking through the mood board, I already have a lot of existing pieces that I will be keeping. For example, my Ikea sofa bed. It's the Gronlid sofa bed. It is incredible. Every single guest that sleeps over and stays on it says how comfortable it is. Um, but I do want to change the fabric. I use a company called Comfortly to get my Ikea sofa covers and it's incredible. It's a really great price. The quality of the fabrics is incredible. I will show you them in a second. So the little bits that I'm going to add to the office are mainly decor focused. Obviously you can see that I've got lots of elements of blue. That was definitely something I always wanted to do in this room. Um, you might remember I was saying that back in November, I think it was, me and Nadia went for a little Christmas shopping day and we went into the Dior store and we were having a look around the children's section and they had this beautiful toil de joy wallpaper inside molding and I just thought it was stunning and it was a really soft pale blue. From that moment on I knew I wanted blue accents in this room and then when I purchased the Ralph Lauren Home lamp which you can see in the mood board it kind of just cemented it for me and I knew that that was going to be a colour that I wanted to feature in this room. I also think blue goes really nicely with our marble fireplace because that's quite a grey tone the blue just complements that so well. So I have touches of blue with the blue cushion, which is from Ochre, the artwork series, which is from John Lewis, which I never would have thought to look at John Lewis for artwork, but I typed in blue artwork and there it was. Absolutely love that, I think it's beautiful. And then the vase that is pictured, I actually have had that vase for ages. It's from Primark Home. I've had it stored in my decor cupboard and I haven't really ever used it. But as I've been making this plan and trying to like source blue decor pieces, I remembered I had it and I got it out and I popped in my faux hydrangeas, which are from Amazon and they are also blue. So this little image in the mood board is exactly what I have in the office. And just by using really inexpensive existing pieces, I can just create that different vibe. I will be keeping my same um, desk chair, which is pictured here. Uh, that's from Amazon, such a good find. I was over the moon when I found those. But I do want to change my desk. My desk currently is actually supposed to be in the guest room and it's just a bit too small. I find that when I'm working here all day, I get a bit overloaded with things on the table and I don't have enough space, especially when I've got kind of double screens, I need my notebooks open, there's loads of wires, there's just a lot going on. Um, so I definitely need a slightly longer desk. And I also want to replace my armchair. So this armchair is from Next Home, a beautiful linen stripe. I love the stripe and I think that will work so nicely in here. 
You might also notice there is a fabric sample of a ticking stripe and that is from the Pure Edit. I'm thinking of getting some curtains for this room. In our house, we have actually only got our curtains from our apartment, which were from Ikea. Really, really good find for blackout beige colored curtains, but I just wanted something a bit more bespoke in this room and I think a curtain will really bring it together. And then we've just got some coffee table books. I've got the cushion on there that you might be able to see behind me, which is from Huxley Living and just some artwork and little bits and bobs. So slowly the vibe for the room is coming together. Now the light is going, so I'm gonna quickly show you the current situation of the room. And then maybe in the next vlog, hopefully I'll have some more bits to show you and I'll just bring you along on the process with me. I was contemplating whether to just do the room and then show you it at the end but I think the process is really nice and you guys know I, I take my time with things I don't rush purchases I like to create the mood boards and think about it and look around for items so yeah it might be a little while until it's completely finished you might have to excuse the room because it is a bit of a mess um, I've been shooting in here today so there's just random stuff everywhere but this is how it is looking so I have completely changed the layout. I've moved the sofa to under the window. Um, you might remember that my desk was actually under the window in the last vlog, but honestly, this has just completely transformed the space. It feels so much brighter, so much bigger, and it's just a much better use of such a square room. So to talk you through a few things, my sofa bed is obviously the same. I will be changing the fabric of this and this is the fabric, where is it? This is the fabric that I'm going to go for. This is from Comfortly. It is the natural fabric in the shade linen and it's just a really nice thick textured linen. I love the fact that it's kind of woven. It's got these flecks of dark, I think it's just gonna be such a gorgeous texture to add into this room. My cushions are from Huxley Living and then I've got my little side table, which I will be replacing this side table. This is just a really inexpensive one that I got from Amazon from our apartment, but I need something a bit bigger. I kind of want something like a vintage mahogany circular table or something a bit rich to add into that space. And then I'll obviously have artwork on the walls and things like that. And then I have brought in this little bench, which was from Amazon and a very good price. Oh, there's the horse again. <laughs> and um, this just goes in here so perfectly. It's so light, really feminine. I love it. And then I've just styled it up with a little tray. This is from H&M Home. This is my home sense jar, little candle, and then the vase and flowers that were in my mood board, which just go so perfectly. Those little touches of blue are just brilliant. And then we obviously have the fireplace. I've actually just brought in this artwork from the kitchen because I was shooting here, um, but I'm going to get a different piece of artwork to go up here. I want something quite big to fill the space and potentially something that's got little bits of blue in. Maybe I'll paint something myself, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then these drawers I actually built last night. It did take me a while, but I got there in the end. These are also from Amazon, very inexpensive. And I just really wanted some kind of drawer cabinetry to go here. Um, something that I can house all of my office stuff, camera equipment, random bits and bobs. So I've popped the little blossom branches, a book on a stand and a little candle. Just, just so nice, just really lovely use of storage. And then I've got this armchair, which I'm actually going to be giving to my mum. So that will be changed. Over on this side of the wall, it is looking a little bit messy. Um, the desk is way too small. I definitely need a bigger desk. And I also have a full length mirror coming to go here. Just because this room has such brilliant lighting. And I think it's so silly not to have a full length mirror in here. Um, especially because I film a lot and I take a lot of outfit pictures for LTK. So as this is a workroom, it just makes sense for me. And then in terms of the actual room, I'm just thinking of changing the curtains. I need to get a ceiling light and that is pretty much it. Do let me know down below what you think of the new office layout and the new mood boards. I am over the moon. I love 
the design of this room i think it's going to be so brilliant when it all comes together and it's going to be such a nice space to be in and I, i'm already loving it and it's not even finished so i need to head upstairs and get myself de makeup i need to pack my suitcase because i am off to london tomorrow for a very lovely day haven't been to london for a while and i'm really looking forward to it it's going to be a very social day a very late night i've got an event in the evening and an event in the day so quite a full-on one and then i will be back home friday morning and i'm hosting jack's mum is coming over for a little afternoon tea which will be so lovely and i haven't seen her properly for a while so i'm looking forward to that and i'm getting back into my friday afternoon hostings <laughs> so yeah i need to go and pack my stuff luckily i've already planned my outfit even though that was a bit of chaos um and i will see you in the morning for a very exciting day good morning everyone we are at the train station i'm getting on the train in about 10 minutes I am heading into London for a busy social day. Not busy in the sense of strenuous work, but busy in the sense of social things going on. Um, I have a lunch, first of all. My friend Fleur is hosting a lunch with mint velvet, so I am wearing head to toe mint velvet right now. This gorgeous jacket, which I've kind of worn as a bit of a jumper. I've done it up and oh, it is so gorgeous. I actually don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe with the black and the white um also a pair of jeans that are very very good jeans i really like these i like a wide leg jean but they have to fit well around the waist they can't be too baggy um and i can actually wear these with flats which is amazing because usually i have to either take up my jeans or i have to wear them with heels and these are perfect so i've got my chloe lauren trainers on for comfort and i actually didn't bring any other outfit with me to wear home tomorrow so i will be wearing this home tomorrow as well um so yes lovely lunch i cannot wait to see fleur i haven't seen her in so long and i'm sure there'll be other girls there that i know and love and then after lunch i am meeting nadia we are heading to the hotel um i think we're just gonna have quite a chilled afternoon in the hotel probably just do some work catch up and then we will be getting ready for this evening's event so tonight ltk which is like to know it the affiliate program that run affiliate links so often you will buy things through me through a link and it is affiliated so that means that i will earn a very small amount of commission on certain products if you buy through my link it doesn't affect your purchase but it just means that i earn a little bit of money i mean it's very very small it can be between one pound and obviously the more expensive the item the more commission um but they also have an app and it is the best app for shopping wardrobes homes beauty products it's so brilliant i actually use it myself all the time so if you are not familiar i really recommend downloading it you can follow me on there lauren grace life and i love it it's brilliant it's such a good way to shop my wardrobe things i post on instagram my home i also post a lot of things on there that i don't necessarily post to instagram or other platforms so it's kind of like exclusive content for there so yes a very very good app they are hosting a very big event this evening it's a gala i don't think they've ever done anything like this before and it's absolutely huge they have hired out the natural history museum um which i haven't been to since i was little and i know that it's going to be so beautiful there are hundreds of creators invited there are loads of brands there so it's kind of just a way to network celebrate enjoy meet new people spend the night with people that we already know and friends in the industry and i'm really looking forward to it and i'm hoping to network with a couple of brands while i'm there i know i have a little meeting booked in with louisa Roma, which is very exciting um but yeah so me and nadia are heading there loads of my friends are going so that's really nice i'm probably going to see loads of faces that i don't usually see and haven't seen for ages and it's an excuse to get dressed up so i'm looking forward to it a lot i've got a gorgeous dress from shona joy that i'm wearing that i've had in my wardrobe for a long time so i'm excited to bring that out um so yeah I need to get on my way because I really want to get a drink from the coffee shop because I'm really cold and I realised on my way here I didn't bring a jacket with me 
I don't have any jacket to wear tonight today so tonight I am going to be freezing because all I have is a halter neck backless black silk dress so I'm going to be freezing but anyways I will catch up with you once I'm in London and I can't wait for lunch I don't know what's going to be on the menu but very exciting also I'm just about to get my bag out the back and I realized I haven't shown you this yet this is from Katie Loxton it is such a gorgeous overnight bag it's got my initials on look at the color it's so beautiful and I've literally packed everything in here so it's the perfect size I'll link this below because I think this is such a good weekend bag or if you're going away and you're traveling a little luggage bag so brilliant okay we've arrived this is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna show you some of the clothes this is absolutely beautiful so so gorgeous and it's making me so excited for spring as well um i personally grew up in a female dominated household so it is so female empowerment is something that is really really close to my heart seeing my mother and my sisters be entrepreneurs it's really inspiring to be an absolute boss babe <laughs> and it is so nice to also be a part of such a female-led industry and you guys inspire me every single day and it's so nice to be a part of that and you guys always empower each other which is so nice to see um, so as we celebrate International Women's Day, I just wanted you guys to all raise a toast to celebrate yourselves, how amazing you are, and also all of the women in your in this room and in your life. So cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers to us. <laughs> we truly believe in empowering ladies and respecting them and of course adoring them wherever they are in the world and I come from a family of four sisters and a single mum so I totally get it yes I was back to them um, but uh, thanks for coming thanks for choosing us and I hope you enjoy your lunch which is from us with love thank you, thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. You should have seen me. When you watched me, I was like crying yeah, my eyes out. Oh my god, I know. I messaged you straight away as well. I was oh like, I need god. to tell you. I was literally crying. Oh, Good evening, everyone. It is Thursday night. I literally haven't vlogged anything since I left lunch this morning or this afternoon but I am now in the hotel. Me and Nadia have been chatting away as usual, getting ready and we are nearly about to leave. We are very early, so we're just kind of hovering around, not really doing much <laughs> killing time, but we are ready. And I thought I'd show you my dress because I haven't shown you it yet. I don't know why I didn't show you it before. I mean, you can see it in the mirror behind me. I don't know why I didn't show you it when I was at home because this hotel is not the best for um filming but this dress is from shona joy i've actually had this for i think two years and i haven't even worn it yet it's been in my wardrobe with the tags on so i'm very excited that i'm finally wearing it it is gorgeous it's like this black silk material but it's quite thick it's not like often do you find with slip dresses when they're black they're very clingy yeah or not black sorry when they're silk yeah. they're really clingy mm -hmm. i don't think this is like that it just kind of skims everywhere which is nice and then i've got my sparkly earrings in from nice cream london i think i show you these all the time because i love them this ring is also from um darfan i love this this is like my evening ring i always wear this um so yeah i'm going to show you my outfit in the mirror but this hotel is not the best lighting this is what the dress looks like so it is floor length very kind of ball gown-esque and the back is just completely backless it has this little ruched strap i just think it's so lovely it's very simple and then halter neck but yeah it's very comfy and then i've got my dior heels which i literally wear every single time i go out and i need heels because they are the comfiest shoes i actually always get asked if these are worth getting and 110 percent they are the comfiest things ever did I tell your sister that these are really good wedding shoes? Wedding, yeah. yeah. I would. Got, um, Manolo's sling backs. But yeah. They are so, so comfortable. They're stunning as well. The, like, they are really nice. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the outfit of the evening, and I will vlog 
hopefully, the evening. Got no idea what to expect. It's in the Natural History Museum. And there's about, what, 700 people going? Probably 750. Crazy. So basically everyone in our industry, creators, everyone. So it's going to be fun. And there's going to be a lot of people that we know, I think. So it'll be lovely. Okay, we have just arrived. And look at this. Oh my goodness. I feel like I was saying I didn't know what to expect. And I don't think I was expecting this. I wasn't expecting oh this. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Well, I feel like we need to have a catch up because it is actually a week later and <laughs> lots of things have happened in this last week and I haven't picked up my camera at all. So, time for a life update. The LTK Gala was absolutely incredible. I had such a lovely time just chatting to so many beautiful women, so many friends that I haven't seen for ages, so many girls in the industry. It was just so wonderful and it was such a nice opportunity to see so many faces in one place and I just absolutely loved it. Um, I left London on Friday morning pretty early to get back home because I had deliveries arriving and I had a meeting so Friday was a very good day too however you might have already seen on Instagram because I did post a little story just explaining why I hadn't posted um, I fell down the stairs pretty badly on Friday night and it was terrible it really really hurt um i mean i have the bruises to show <laughs> so so bad it was absolutely agony i mean the bruise on my bum i am not going to show you because yeah who wants to see my bum on youtube but it's so bad oh it just it was awful and i fell from the top to the bottom i'm so grateful that nothing bad happened i didn't hit my head all I've just come out with is bruises, which is obviously a godsend, but I felt so unwell. I was really dizzy and I could see like dots in my eyes um, and I felt so sick. So Saturday wasn't the best of days. It was really strange actually. It was weird. I think it was the shock. It just made me so kind of out of it. Um, Jack actually kept saying to me, are you okay? Why are you being weird? I was like, I don't know. And then bad things come in threes and after then we just kept getting bad news. So yeah, a lot of things were happening in my personal life, quite stressful things that I couldn't really control that just felt a bit overwhelming and a bit stressful. Um, and I, I did mention this on Instagram, but I sometimes find when things go wrong or when there's negative things or stressful things happening that I can't really control, I often feel like I just go very inward and I don't feel like I can show up properly. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but yeah, it's kind of like I just, I just kind of go in shutdown mode and I just can't really function properly. Can't really think very well. Um, I don't want to speak to anyone. I really don't want to be on socials and yeah, it's quite strange, but everything is good. All is fine. I'm back. I'm absolutely fine. I've just got a few bruises and it's not the end of the world. So yeah, that is where I've been and that's why I didn't upload on Monday. Today is Thursday when I'm filming this and this video will be going up tonight. So we're back on normal schedules and everything is fine. But I just wanted to explain what's been going on because I, yeah, this vlog should have gone up on Monday and I wanted to vlog over the weekend. I wanted to do like a little outro and just explain um rather than waiting until like the following video but i wanted to tell you what i am launching because it is launching on monday with the first entry and i wanted to tell you guys because you guys are my favorite and i am so excited a little bit nervous it's nothing groundbreaking um, lots of people do this already and there are kind of a few reasons why I wanted to do this but I am launching a newsletter 
it is called seasons and i am really excited i've been working on the branding and kind of creating it and working on the first couple of newsletters and all the like ins and outs of creating it um, and i'm really really pleased with it and i'm just so excited so my reasoning for wanting to do a newsletter is firstly because i feel like social media can be such a busy noisy place and as much as i love it and as much as i love creating videos and chatting to you and creating images for instagram and all of those things sometimes it, i feel like it can be overwhelming and there's a lot of content it's very quick it's uh, i think youtube is different because you obviously sit down and watch a video but i know for myself i'll have videos on in the background while i'm cleaning or while i'm working or filming so i'm not really sitting and engaging it's very rare that I'll actually sit and properly watch a video like a TV series, for example. I don't know, you guys might do that. I wanted to create something that will make you stop and give you like a little bit of respite, allow you to pause and delve into something to make you think, to make you question things, get ideas, get inspiration, recommendations, all of these things that I talk about on YouTube and on my other platforms but in a written form so the newsletter seemed like a great idea i was thinking of relaunching my blog but something in me was just feeling like there's a better use of my time and there's a probably a better format rather than a blog because at the end of the day we do want to be quick we do like things that are short and concise and they're not going to take up a lot of time so a newsletter felt like the perfect thing for me I can send them weekly to you guys, they can include updates, thoughts, recommendations, recipes, what I'm listening to, what I'm watching, and it's just this one email into your inbox every Monday at 6am that will hopefully inspire you and get you off on the right foot for the week because that is something I'm really passionate about and you guys know morning routines morning walks i'm so obsessed with my morning routines and my evening routines and i feel like when you set yourself up properly for the day you're most likely to have a better day and yeah that is one reason my second reason is that i can't believe how incredible you guys are how similar we are I think over the past year I have really realised that the community that we have here on YouTube is so special and I feel like we have almost formed like some sort of friendship group with people that are probably all different ages all around the world that have similar interests. I can't believe that I can mention watching Alan Titchmarsh and my comments are full and my DMs are full of people saying I also love Alan Titchmarsh and Monty Don and oh do you watch this guy or what do you think of this and I think you might love this Instagram account. I just love it. I am so in love with the community that we have built here that it doesn't feel like enough. Me talking to my camera and talking to you and you guys commenting back to me, it just doesn't feel like enough and I wanted to find some sort of platform that we can actually interact more, we can share tips, we can share ideas, you can share updates of your garden and a recipe that you loved and I can share mine and we can all chat together and I just really wanted that community feeling and that is why I have launched my newsletter with Substack. Um, it's not paid or anything, Substack is a free platform and actually I thought this was worth mentioning. A lot of people have Substack platforms and newsletters, but they are paid. And one thing that Substack does do is they encourage creators to put a payment scheme in place for their newsletters. So for example, I could launch my newsletter and you might have to pay four pounds or I don't know, however much I set it up to subscribe to the newsletter and to receive it, you would have to pay a fee. That doesn't really sit right with me because it just i don't know i don't want you guys paying for my newsletter it doesn't seem right so i'm not doing that it's completely free free of charge and i just wanted to create that community space and substack have some great options where you can have a chat so 
similar to the Instagram broadcast channels, but you guys can reply. So I can put in a comment, you can reply to that comment with photos, text, you can chat to me, you can chat to each other in there. I'm really excited about it and I really hope you guys like it and want to use it and it's something that will work. I mean, if it doesn't work and you guys don't like it, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but I just felt like it was something that I thought could be really nice and just bring that community feeling without all the noise because Substack is such a lovely place where people share inspiring quotes, they share tips and lovely think pieces about different topics and you can really tailor your home feed to what your interests are. So for example, I've started following a few people on there that are in the countryside. I followed somebody that does recipes. I followed somebody that does gardening. I've also followed like a holistic type person. So when I scroll my newsfeed, it's so calming and there's not kind of loud music and fast videos and buy this, buy this. It's just relaxed. And I really, really like it. So I'm hoping you will too. I decided to launch the newsletter on Monday the 18th because that is the first week of spring. Wednesday the 20th is the first official day of spring and I think I've said this before but spring for me feels like the start of the year. It feels like you've got that new life, the weather's getting better, there's so many things to look forward to, the garden is thriving, greenery is starting to arrive and it just feels like that is the start of my year so for me it's such an important part of the year and i and i'm just yeah i feel like it just aligns really really well so i'm gonna leave a link below for you to subscribe as i said it's free of charge you can download the app if you wish to um which means you can see all of my previous entries and newsletters there'll be an archive so on my platform there is an archive so you can go back and read old ones if you want to you can interact on the chat you can obviously follow other substacks if you want to it's such a lovely platform and it feels like a much better use of time rather than scrolling on instagram tiktok it feels like you're learning things and you're absorbing things and you're expanding your knowledge and your mind on substack i just I don't know, there's something about it that feels a lot more thought out and slower and I just love it. I'm really, really in love with it. If you just want to subscribe and get them into your emails, that is absolutely fine. You don't have to download the app at all. You can actually access all the archived newsletters on the internet as well. You don't have to um, have the app. So yes, newsletters will be arriving in your inbox at 6am on a Monday. The reason I've done 6am on a Monday is because... I feel like I want you guys to have access to it as soon as possible, as soon as the week begins, whether you have it as like your little Monday morning ritual and you have your coffee and read through it and catch up with me, see what I'm doing that week. I want to give you like quotes and inspiration and I don't know, just I feel like I always have so many thoughts about things and it just feels like such a nice place for me to get them all out and tell you them all without sitting and babbling for like 20 minutes. Whether you're reading it at home, whether you're reading it on the train to work, on your lunch break. I mean, just because I'm sending it Monday morning, 6am, doesn't mean you have to read it then. You can read it whenever. So please let me know what you think. I am so incredibly nervous, but very excited at the same time. I really hope you all like it. And as I said, I don't really get anything from this. I'm not getting any money from it. I'm not working with anyone. It's just something that I really wanted to do for all of us to create this community. And I don't know, I, I think it's just so nice to have people that are so like-minded. And often I think when you're, I mean, I'm quite young and I feel like I, I have the brain of, a woman that has an entire family and has lived 40 years but I'm nearly half that age and sometimes it's quite difficult finding people with the same interests as you that want to talk about the same things and that care about the same things I think that's a big thing and I just I just think it's going to be really lovely so yeah I'm not going to ramble on too much about it because I've already been talking for 18 minutes but do let me know what you think um, I'm sorry if you were expecting something else and you're disappointed. I hope you're not. 
and I really hope you're going to subscribe and enjoy it. Um, so yes, the first one will be going out on Monday the 18th. Just a little sneak preview. The first newsletter is a bit of a backstory as to why I'm launching it and yeah, just a little bit of like information on me and I'm really, really pleased about it. I'm really excited. So I really hope you like it too. But I'm going to end the video there and sign out and start a new vlog ready for next week. So thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for all of you. The DMs, the comments, everything. And feel free to DM me anything. I love chatting to you all. And I, yeah, I'm just so grateful. And I really, really hope you love Seasons. The newsletter. And I'm so happy with the name as well. It took me so long to come up with a name and I realised that Seasons just makes so much sense because it just relates to everything and it's such a good umbrella term for the countryside. So anyway, I will see you in the next one.